Children and Car Safety With more than 27,000 car accidents occurring on U.S. highways every single day, protecting your little ones while traveling on the roads is imperative. While being a safe driver that keeps their eyes on the road and focus on what's going on around them is simple for most, sometimes it isn't as easy when there are kids playing around in the back, a screaming baby, or a toddler amidst the tantrum. Despite these minor setbacks, it is easy to get behind the wheel of a vehicle with confidence that your children will arrive as safely at their destination as they left the house. Car Safety It's the law. Children must ride in a car seat or a booster seat while traveling inside of a vehicle. The laws regulating the length of a time a car seat or a booster seat must be used varies from one state to the next. Safe Kids offers a free state-by-state -state tracker to learn more about the laws for car seat use in your state. Correctly using a car seat can reduce the risk of injury to your child by as much as 70%. It is estimated that approximately 74% of all parents aren't using their seats correctly. Infant Car Seat Safety Rear-facing car seats are used for infants 12 months of age or younger. These seats are portable, so you can easily transport baby without disturbing his rest. There are weight and height restrictions in place on infant car seats. Be sure to check these limitations for the specific car seat model that you purchase. Forward-facing car seats. Once your child reaches 12 months of age, the use of a forward-facing car seat is recommended. The forward-facing seat provides your now rambunctious little one with more sights to see as you explore the town while also offering additional safety measures, including a five-point harness and tether. These safety features prevent your child from moving forward in the event of a crash. Weight limits are in place for forward-facing seats. The weight limits vary from one make and model of seat to the next, but typically go up to a weight of about 65 pounds. Once your child surpasses this weight limit, the use of a booster seat is recommended. Booster Seat The booster seat is the final seat that your child needs for safety protection. The booster seat is used for children from 8 to 12 years of age who do not meet the height weight requirements. Children must ride inside a booster seat until they're 4 foot 9 inches. Several different types of booster seats are available for your child. Inside and outside car safety. Regardless of the type of car safety seat your child is using, be sure that you strap your child up before you depart for any trip. Don't count on older kids to properly strap the little ones in. That is your responsibility. It takes only a matter of seconds to ensure that your child is properly seated before departure. Car seat safety tips. A few additional safety tips for you and your children. What car seat will you purchase? When choosing a car seat, do not sacrifice quality. It is worth spending a few extra dollars to get a seat that provides the ultimate in safety and protection for your baby while traveling inside of a vehicle. Take the time to compare the different car seats for your child's age and get to know more about the brands. You can browse the web to learn information about child car safety seat recalls and other important information. Used is not an option. Used car seats are never worth the savings. There are far too many safety recalls on car seats to take the risk. Besides, when you purchase a used car seat, you never know if all the parts are there, if it has been involved in a wreck, etc. Pre-seat car seat inspection. Before each trip, do a quick car seat inspection. A free car seat safety checklist is available to help you. Spending an extra 10 minutes to review the car seat and the checklist can provide great protection to your little one. If you are unsure of the proper method of installing your child safety seat, free inspections are provided by various companies throughout the states. Set an example. Be a good example for your children. While it is the law that you wear a seatbelt, some people do not. Ensure that you are not one of those people. Buckle up each and every time you get inside of the car. Your children will be more inclined to want to buckle up and stay safe if they see that mom and dad are doing it too. Never leave children unattended. The car is not a place that your child should be left alone, even for a few minutes. You might be surprised at just what can happen in a matter of seconds. In addition to these dangers, the heat inside of the vehicle is also a concern, just as leaving the vehicle running poses safety risks. Stay up to date. Register your car seat after purchase. Registering your car seat not only enables you to take advantage of the warranty, but also ensures that you receive notification of important information on the car seat including safety recalls and violations. Kids and Bicycle Safety Nothing is more exciting for a child than bike riding. It is an enjoyable activity that they can participate in on their own, with friends, or even with family. 
unlimited writing possibilities exist as well, making the activity that one that boys and girls, preteens and teens, and even adults alike can enjoy. Bicycling is a great method of exercise as well, but cycling can also be dangerous for children. More than 300,000 kids are injured from bicycle-related accidents each year. In 2013, more than 740 bicycle-related fatalities occurred in the U.S. Although you do not want to deny your child the fun and pleasure of bike riding, you do want to go the extra mile to secure their safety. Bicycle Helmet Importance Because a bicycle injury may cause a head injury that leads to injuries in the brain, wearing a helmet each and every time your child gets on a bike is important. It is so important to wear a bicycle helmet that the government has initiated standards for them. Look for the Consumer Product Safety Commission sticker to ensure that it meets the standards. Your bicycle helmet provides superior protection against brain injury when it meets the standards set in place by CPSC. Additional tips to keep your children safe when bicycling. Teach children road signs and what they mean, as well as the importance of looking both ways twice before crossing the street. It is vital that children use sidewalks or bike lanes to ride and that they cross only at lights or signs. Ensure the vehicle fits your child. The seat can be adjusted and should fit one to two inches between the child and top bar. Before each trip, check the bike with particular emphasis on the tires and proper inflation. Don't ride a bike after dark unless it's necessary. During those occasions, make sure that you have a reflector light on the bike so cars and others may easily identify you. Always go with the flow of traffic if riding in a bike lane. Stay alert at all times and be aware of your surroundings. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.